Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Feel Good Food from Truro School Cookery. So, today I'm going to make some scones or scones, depending on which area of the country you come from. What are you, AJ? A scone or a scone? I don't know how to say anything properly. <laughs> well, you are from Derby. Yeah, so no I disrespect to anyone from no, Derby, yeah. obviously. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, scone, so I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm a bit of a scone girl. Yeah. Um, so, super easy, again, very few ingredients. And scones, well, I would say scones, that's scones, jam and cream, a classic Cornish cream tea, or butter, or a bit of jam, um, another really quick bake to make up. Children can make it, and a great thing to leave for someone who's in isolation. So we have got 225 grams of self-raising flour, which I'm gonna to start to sieve into a large bowl. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder, just to give it that little bit of extra rise. Stick that into the bowl, um, gets rid of the lumps and gets in some air. Voila, comme ça, bit of French there, it's about all I know. Oh, very nice, yeah, lovely. Um, then what I'm going to do is rub in 50 grams of fat. Now I've got butter here, but you can use margarine. Tend to go for block margarine rather than a soft margarine, but a soft margarine will work. So again, whatever you've got at home Bit of salted butter, is that always a good shout? Yeah, so I mean, I'm a great fan of salted butter, yeah. to be honest. There aren't many things that you wouldn't add salt to, and salt in a bit of baking gives a nice sort of undertone. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just cutting the butter into sort of small little pieces, I'm placing that at sort of intervals onto the flour. <laughs> <laughs> See when you're trying to when you're trying to film and uh, oh hello and, and the grandson turns hello. up. Oh hello! Have you brought me something? What have you got? Well, have you got some cake? Okay, that's very good. So you can tell it's live. Yeah, so I'm back. We're back. We're back. Gorgeous grandson, come to see Granny on a Friday afternoon. We've, so, um, we've locked him up in the other room. Yeah, we've, we've, shut, we've shut <laughs> next door at the moment. So I, I cut up my butter into my flour. Now I'm going to rub it in. Now what's super important is that you try and keep this as cold as possible. So do not rub in with your hands, just your fingers. So I'm going in, I call it this bit of, bit of a finger massage. Grabbing a bit of the butter, grabbing the flour. Get a bit of height in there too. And what we're trying to do is sort of give all those little grains of flour a little coating of um, the butter. I'm terrible at this. I mean, my hands are the temperature of the sun. Well, so you, know they, never... you know what they say, cold hands, warm heart. Uh, maybe, what, yeah. What, what, no, but we, we all love you, Angel. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. know you're gorgeous. <laughs> Um, so we're going to rub this in until the mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs. So if you see that in a recipe, you know this is what it expects you to do. What else could we, you know, put in here? Okay. Rather than if we wanted to glam it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is literally a plain scone recipe because if you've got a bit of cream and jam, you really don't need to put anything else in the scones. However, you could mix in, at this stage, um, a couple of tablespoons of caster sugar to give a sweet scone, which is really nice just with some butter on. You could mix in um, about 50 to 75 grams of dried fruits, sultanas, dried cranberries, you know, dried apricots, anything you've got. You could mix in 50 grams of grated cheese, uh, with some dried herbs, you could put in some chopped um, olives, some sun-dried tomatoes, pretty much whatever you've got lurking at the back of the fridge. So a savoury scone or a sweet scone. I do like a cheese scone, to be fair. Do you know, AJ? I had it um, very the... nice if you have Philadelphia. Um, other cream cheese are available, um, or and chutney on top. Oh, it's not had a Philadelphia nice. and chutney. So it's one. a cream cheese tea. A cream cheese. <laughs> Afternoon, yeah. You are random. It is very, not, very nice. I've got to say though, I'm with you on a cheese scone. Mm, very Absolutely. Good. So really fine breadcrumbs. And then, let's, hang on, let's, get it, let's get another little look in there. Okay, look, really, really fine breadcrumbs. And all I'm going to do now is take a table knife, and I've got about 150 mils of milk. Now, it doesn't matter if you um, have whatever type of milk you've got, so skim, semi skim, full fat. Likewise, if you've got a vegan in the household, you could use sunflower margarine for this and use any form of plant based milk. Works really well with soya, oats. Give it a go, it's really, really good. Um, some of the vegan cheeses are great too. 
uh, so those and a bit of olives, a bit of vegan feta and olives, you know, really, really good. So I'm just mixing this to get a soft, but not sticky dough. Uh, so just add it until it comes together really nicely in the bowl, just like that. Okay, throwing that everywhere. You might not need all the milk. And then this is where it gets super important, the skeins, because you do not want to overhandle the mixture. So at this point, you want to handle it as little as possible. I suppose that heat will just start melting the butter, won't yeah, it? Yeah, it'll melt the butter and it'll overwork the gluten in the flour and give you a tough scone and one that doesn't rise. So literally, you want to pat it together and you do not need to roll a scone. You just need to pat it. And you want to pat it to the length of your, bottom of your thumb to your knuckle, okay? I know that's a bit random, I'm particularly small, but you know, that's more What if you've got really less. big hands, Marie? You've got a really big scone, yeah. don't you? I mean, I don't have that problem. I've got tiny hands like Donald Trump, but... Um... So, big hands equals big scone. Right, there we go. Basically. So, um, if you're doing a sweet scone, fluted cutter, a uh, savoury scone, plain cutter... Oh, there's it. I see. Even I'm... I have no idea of that. I tell, yeah, <laughs> I tell you, you'll learn it all here. Yeah. Um, this is about eight centimetres, six to eight centimetres, really up to you. But this is where it gets um, interesting, because what I do not want to do is twist. If I twist it, it'll... In the oven, it'll sort of rise wobbly and there'll be a lopsided scone. And a good scone is if you hear this. Listen very carefully. Can oh, you hear did you hear the pop? So that is all the air that you've still got in there. So they can go straight onto a tray. You don't even need to oil the tray. Okay. Oh, there there we go. You even saw a bit of the flour. There, there we go. That shows I've got loads of air in there. And then don't squidge the dough together. You just want to press it together. So this mixture makes it a four large, and to be honest, you know, um, a little bit of flour, a little bit of butter, a little bit of milk, four large scones. There we go, that's another one. But you can obviously scale it up, double it, treble it, quadruple it, and then- So you're just press, pressing one. it together yeah, there, nothing at all really. That's literally all I'm doing. There we go. There she comes. And then so a little ready. bit of milk. I'm um, just going to go and get a pastry brush. I will return to take the garden. So a little bit of milk or um, a bit of uh, egg, to be honest. Um, if things weren't a bit of time of adversity, I would crack an egg and put an egg glaze. I'm not going to waste an egg on a scone now. A little bit of milk. Even though you've got chickens now, Maria. Oh, exciting news, viewers. Not viewers. Yeah, viewers. Yeah, they are viewers. Um, yeah. They're, they're also viewers. people. <laughs> people, friends. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I've got four chickens arriving tomorrow. Great excitement, as in living chickens. So I will uh, introduce you to my flock. Shortly. To be fair, at the moment, um, if you said you'd got six, you know, dead chickens. <laughs> yeah, pre packed yeah, chickens. Everyone would be pretty like, oh, hashtag. Be done delighted. Yeah, yeah. No, Who does they're she arriving know? tomorrow, so we shall be naming them, AJ. Oh, very excited about that. So, um, if you can see here, what I've done is I've not, I've been very careful not to get the glaze of milk down the side. If that happens, then it'll hold that side together and they'll rise a little bit lopsidedly. You don't have to glaze it, just put a bit of flour on the top if that's all you've got. So, I'm going to put these into an oven at uh, 200 degrees. Um, hot oven, uh, gas mark six, six to seven, um, hot, top of a hot agar oven. Um, Does anybody use gas mark anymore? Probably not. Yeah, I think some do people they? do. Oh. Yeah, 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 some people do. I'm a bit of an electric girl myself. There we go. Here we go. Uh, top of the oven, uh, about 10 minutes, okay? So we'll be back in 10 minutes. We'll return. So, about 10 to 12 minutes, these have been in the oven. Obviously, smaller scones, uh, Less time, larger skeins, more time. Oh, look at those. Oh, beauties. So we've got Mother's Day tomorrow. And, um, you know, if you've not got a lot of ingredients, how lovely, just a batch of scones, a bit of butter, a bit of jam, drop them around to your mum. And um, if you can't get to see her at the moment, leave them outside the door. Um, you know, really, really nice thing to do. Um, I'm just going to pop those onto, oh, they're hot. Um, a cooling tray. What's so, the best way to know when they're cooked? So they've risen, they're golden, and if you turn them upside down, hot, 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 they're oh, a little bit hollow I underneath. See. Okay. So similar to bread then in that. Yeah, half, really yeah. similar to bread. Um, and can you see? I mean, this one was the last one, so it's a little bit of a sort of uneven shape, but all adds to um, its individuality. Rustic. Rustic. That's the word. We've got a nice rise on there. 
Um, I'm literally just going to leave those cool a little bit and then we are going to top it with a little bit of Rodas Clotted Cream. You say a little bit, but um, Manuel um, ordered us a, a the biggest tub ever. So obviously Manuel's our top man for doing a bit of ordering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did say I, I wanted a little bit of Clotted Cream. He's a man after my own heart. <laughs> Look at that for a box of Clotted Cream. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. How are we looking? Pretty good, I would say. Four lovely scones, a bit of strawberry jam, any jam that you've got. A um, bit of clotted cream. I think I said Rodders earlier. This is actually true with so But they Rodders are Trewithin, two very good producers of clotted cream. Wonderful. And so. we've got to support our local supplier at the moment. <laughs> um, so come on, come on round, AJ. Absolutely. I don't like missing out on food. So there we go. Now, I am going to go the only way to do this, in my opinion, which is jam first. Since I've got a uh, cream on top, the Cornish fiance, I have to make sure I get it right. You absolutely do, or else that, that big, big yeah, jail. That could be good, good, goodbye for you. That could be your sleeping in bed. Oh, absolutely. So, um, big dollop. I've got a lot of time for you, Matt. I've got a cream you're putting on there. That's very, uh, yeah, that. very healthy. Look at that. Lots of vitamin A, vitamin D. Uh, oh, the fact all you're trying that to that. make clotted cream sound healthy is excellent. <laughs> it is. Calcium. Got to keep our, got to keep our, it is calcium. Yeah, Protein, yeah. got to keep your strength up, AJ. It's also got 2,000 calories, but I don't think anybody cares about weight gain during COVID-19. I definitely don't There we go. Really, booty. Cheers, boss. Here we go. Mm. I mean, it's always important to get <laughs> the cream stuck in your moustache. Mm. So, Mother's Day tomorrow, it's gone strand of cream, sorted. Mm, that's so lovely.